Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial video. In this video, I will teach you how to model threaded components using FreeCAD 1.0. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick parametric part design template. Before we start the design, we need to download Fastener's Workbench. To do that, click on Tools menu and click on Add-on Manager. Wait until it loads. Type fasteners in this search bar. Click to install the add-on. Click OK and close the window. Click restart now. Now I have restarted the application and I am on part design workbench. Let's click on create sketch command and pick XY plane. Click on create circle and draw a circle at the origin. Type 22 mil for the diameter and press enter. Draw another circle at the origin again. Type 15 mil for the diameter and press enter. Click to close the window. Now I will extrude this profile using the pad command. Click on pad command, type 25 for the length and make it reverse so it will be extruded downward. Click OK. Now it's time to add the inside thread. To do that, we have to switch the workbench to fasteners. Look for this icon. It could be different location on your screen. Click on it. The part is located at the origin downward. Now we have to adjust some parameters to make it fit inside the pipe. Select the part, change to M18. Change the length to 30 mil. As you can see, the part gets updated in the viewport as you change the parameters. Change this to true so we can see the threads. Click anywhere here to see the update on the model. Now I will subtract the threaded rod from the body using the boolean operation. Select both the body and the threaded rod. Change the workbench to part and click on this tool. Now the threads are created inside the pipe. Now select the top face and click on create sketch. Click OK to exit the plane. Click on Create Regular Polygon Tool and start sketching at the origin. Type 35 mil and press Enter. Make sure to snap along the Y axis and click to finish. Close the window. Click on extrude command and type 15 mil for the length. And click OK. Now we will add threaded rod on the top. Let's switch back to fastness workbench. And click on this icon again for threaded rod. The new part is placed at the origin downwards. Select the threaded rod. 
and change the size to M18. Leave the length at 20 mil and change this to true to display the threads. Click anywhere here to get updated. Let's look at the model from front side. Right click and select transform to move the part. Click and drag this blue arrow to move outside along Z axis. Make sure this is 1 mil. Leave the threaded part sitting inside the polygonal part. Click OK. Check the model. Now switch to part workbench. We will combine these three separate parts as one single part. Select first two parts and click on this tool. Make sure it is set to union. Click apply and close. As you can see those two parts are joined. Now select these two parts and join them using the same method. Now the model is a single part. Let's add some radius to some edges. To do that, I'm going to switch to part design workbench so we can apply fillet command. Before applying the fillet feature, I have to convert this fusion feature to body. Select and click here to make it body. Now, I will select these three faces and apply fillet command. Now, click on this select to add more faces. Rotate the model and select other three faces. Leave 1 mil radius and click OK. Now, select this face and apply fillet command again. Type 0.5 mil for the radius. Click OK. Let's apply some colors. OK, the model is now completed. I hope you like my video, please subscribe as I will be uploading more videos soon. Thanks again for watching my video, see you soon.